Maria Espindola, Bishop Carroll High School, Calgary, Alberta. Paper People by Harry Baker. I like people. I'd like some paper people. They'd be purple paper people. Maybe pop-up purple paper people. Proper pop-up purple paper people. How do you prop up pop-up purple paper people? I hear you cry. Well, I, I'd probably prop up proper pop-up purple paper people with a proper pop-up purple people paper clip, but I'd pre-prepare appropriate adhesives as alternatives, a cheeky back of just in case the paper slipped. Because I could build a pop-up metropolis, but I wouldn't want to deal with all the paper people politics, paper politicians with their paper thin policies, broken promises without appropriate apologies. There'd be a little paper me and a little paper you. And we could watch paper TV and it would all be pay-per-view. We'd see the poppy paper wrappers wrap about their paper package or watch paper people carriers get stuck in paper traffic on the A4. Paper. <laughs> There'd be a paper princess Kate, but we'd all stare at paper Pippa. And then we'd all live in fear of Killer Jack, the paper ripper. <laughs> because the paper propaganda propagates the people's prejudices. Papers printing pictures of the photogenic terrorists. A little paper me and a little paper you. And in a pop-up population, people's problems pop up too. There'd be a pompous paper parliament who remained out of touch and who ignored the people's protests about all the paper cuts. And then the peaceful paper protests would get blown to paper pieces by the confetti cannons manned by preemptive police. And yes, there'd still be paper money. So there'd still be paper greed and the paper piggy bankers pocketing more than they need, purchasing the potpourri to pepper their paper properties. Others live in poverty and ain't acknowledged properly, a proper poor economy where so many are proper poor. But while their needs are ignored, the money goes to big wars. Origami armies unfold plans for paper planes, and we remain in prison in our own paper chains. But the greater shame is that it always seems to stay the same. What changes is who's in power choosing how to lay the blame. They're naming names, forgetting that these are names of people. Because in the end, it all comes down to people. I like people. Because even when the situation's dire, it is only ever people who are able to inspire. And on paper, it's hard to see how we all cope. But in the bottom of a Pandora's box, there's still hope. And I still hope. Because I believe in people. People like my grandparents, who every single day since I was born have taken time out of their morning to pray for me. That's 7,892 days straight of someone checking, I'm okay. And that's amazing. People like my aunt who puts on plays with prisoners, people who are capable of genuine forgiveness, people like the persecuted Palestinians, people who go out of their way to make your life better and expect nothing in return. You see, people have potential to be powerful. Just because the people in power tend to pretend to be victims, we don't need to succumb to that system and a paper population is no different. There's a little paper me and a little paper you.
and in a pop-up population, people's problems pop up too. But even if the whole world fell apart, then we'd still make it through. Because we're people. <laughs>